So we all have preferences. It's how we navigate the world. Some people really like red. Some people really like yellow, as you can see. Um, some people love oranges. Some people love apples. Um, some people really love um, urban outfitters. Some people really love loft. Um, there's just a difference. We all have a preference for how we express ourselves, the things that we like, the things that we dislike. Um, but most of the time, um, someone who loves yellow is not opposed to wearing red. I have plenty of red things in my closet. Or someone who loves strawberry ice cream would not turn down vanilla ice cream if it was the only option. Or someone who really likes to shop at Urban Outfitters would happily shop at Loft if they had an interview. Um, and I bring this up because I think that we have a problem in dating where racism gets disguised as preference. We like to say, I prefer to only date black men. I prefer to only date white women. Or I do not date black women. Or I do not date Asian men. Whatever it may be. And these preferences, though it is nice to say you have a preference are usually deeply rooted in racist ideals um, and even as benevolent as your racism may be it is still racism um, and a lot of that is found in our very clear eurocentric ideas of beauty um, so what we consider beautiful um, is based off what we see in the news or what we see in movies or the fairy tales that we heard when we were younger that is how we define beauty so when it comes to dating that's the schema we use when we date um, and so some people get left out when it comes to dating because of this so-called preference and i want to make it clear that you can have a preference the same way that i can prefer yellow you can have a preference for blonde women, or you can have a preference for a tall man. But if that tall man is a black man, and that blonde haired woman is a white woman, and you would only date white women, that is a problem. And of course, a lot of us are attracted to the things that are like us. We want to be around people who um, share the same cultural ideas, um, people who have had similar experiences to us, because that's how we connect. And you want to connect on a deep level with someone that you're romantically interested in. Um, and so there was some research done that I think is important to bring into this conversation, because we're only I think 53 years past Loving v. Virginia when it became legal for interracial marriage to even be a thing. And currently only about 10% of the American population are in interracial relationships. I think it's roughly about 11 million people are currently in an interracial relationship. And when it comes to dating apps, I think we see this unfold very clearly because you have the, the option to pick anyone you want and you have the option to filter who you don't want. There are plenty of apps where you can actually filter by race, which is absolutely terrible, should not be an option. Um, of course, there's a difference between filtering by religion or filtering by um, whether or not you like to work out or you wanna have kids, because those are things that you can control. But filtering by race and dating by race is inherently racist because that's not something that people can control. And you choosing not to date people because of their skin color is incredibly problematic. Um, and it's actually OkCupid okay did a study of their users on their app. And they found that black women and Asian men were labeled the least attractive um, by their users on the app. Um, and then Forbes also did a study and they found that 80% of white users message only white users. And then, to top it all off, only 3% of messages sent on the app from white users were to black users. And then, to top it all off, black users are actually 10 times more likely to message white users than white users are to message black users, which I find very interesting. And I think what's interesting too is that 3% of messages, I would guess probably about 2% of those messages are fetishizing people because that's another issue with dating apps. There's a clear fetishization that comes with dating someone of the opposite race. You hear a lot of white women refer to themselves as snow bunnies, that they only date black men, but it is purely based in a fetishizing of black men. 
this desire to have green-eyed mixed babies despite the fact that genetics do not work that way you cannot just cook up a baby and get the exact result that you want and not only does it fetishize and sexualize your um spouse or the person that you're dating it also sexualizes your children because they were created out of your desire to have mixed babies which is not okay and then on the other end there's the fetishizing of black women or asian women um, because they're exotic they're you know you've never experienced them before i've received so many messages on dating apps that are so terrible of men saying the most ridiculous things purely based in my race nothing about the things that I said in my profile, nothing about um, my sense of style, whatever it may be, the things that are in my control, but instead you're fetishizing me because you wanna say something like, oh, I've never tasted chocolate before. Like that's just so inappropriate. And the fact that dating apps actually allow that to happen is not okay. It's creating an environment when you allow things to be filtered for those things to happen and it's not okay. And so I think that one way to maybe begin to solve this problem because i think that it is rooted in racism and it's rooted in the eurocentric idea ideals of beauty it's going to be a hard thing to dismantle but i think that one thing that's important is for people to examine where their preference comes from does your preference come from a dislike of other people that are different from you does your preference come from the fact that you don't you only think that eurocentric um beauty standards are beautiful um, is it that you have a stereotypical idea about black women in your head where you say I don't want to date a black woman because she's loud and she's angry like where are your preferences coming from because it's okay to have a preference it's okay to like blue eyes it's okay to like blonde hair it's okay to like curly hair it's okay to like tall it's okay to like short but when those things start to hinder you from exploring possible relationships with people that are different than you you're missing out on amazing people that you could be dating and you're also being racist so that's a big part of it as well um, and so I think if we're going to, going to even begin to do the work of breaking down white privilege, white supremacy, racism, dating also has to come into this because the world that we're creating for the children, for our children starts with the people that we date. The children that we are going to have are based off the people that we date and who we choose. And if we're choosing not, if we're choosing to remain separate, to say, I only date white people and a majority of white people date only white people um and of course that has to do with proximity but there are dating apps give you the opportunity to to expand outside of your proximity to date people who don't look like you and choosing to filter out those people is not okay and you're missing out on the opportunity to date amazing people so i would encourage people to take a look at your preferences see what racism is kind of underneath those preferences what is it that makes you uncomfortable about Asian men? What, what is it that makes you uncomfortable about, about black women? Why is it that you don't want to date a black woman? Why is it that you don't want to date an Asian man? Is it based off stereotypes of their race? Because if it is, then it's racism. 